Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a new shop category page. So if you have a larger shop template and it has categories broken down by shop like at the top for your menu rather than just a single store, this will be really helpful for you as you're adding new categories to your different pages here. So what you're going to do here is you're going to go to menus and pages and you'll see here that we've got um, shirts, bottom shoes, purses, and that reflects here um, as far as the horizontal menu goes and that's your main menu. So what you'll do is you're if you're going to add some, maybe we're going to add a jewelry page because now you started selling jewelry in your shop. So you're going to click add page and it's going to pop up here and you can name it. So we're going to name it jewelry and you're gonna hit done. And so as you'll see, we're on a blank page right now. And however, if you want jewelry to show up at the end, you can also drag it and drop it wherever you want in the menu. Or maybe instead of purses, maybe you have this labeled as accessories and you wanna pop it underneath here. It won't show on the main menu, but when you hit preview, you'll be able to see purses, jewelry. So that's how you get those drop down menus, especially if you have a lot of shop categories, you can quickly create your four or five main categories up here. And then if you drag your subcategories underneath it, that's how people can explore more in your shop. So to get this jewelry page to display your jewelry, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here your, to your blank page here, click my store, and you're gonna go add store elements. So hold on, I think I clicked this out of the wrong page. So sorry, go to site menu, go to jewelry, and then, so it's your blank page, you're gonna go to my store, add store elements. So you can do a grid or you can do a slider. So I recommend grid, especially if it's a single product category page. So as you can see here, you'll have all of your products, but what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to go to your settings in collection and say you have a collection that says jewelry we'll just use the one that says sale for now you can click sale and it will only display those products so when you go and manage your collections which we did talk about in another video um you can create one that says jewelry and it will pop up here and you'll be able to select jewelry and it'll display here as a feed you can go through here and select all the different settings. If you wanna add filters, you can. Uh, you can hit show filters and it's gonna pop up this bar on the side. You can add sorting and you could add that there. So this will be your jewelry page. So when you hit preview, um, what you'll do is when you purchase and you hit jewelry, when it refreshes, it's going to show this page here versus, um, you know, a whole shop page. So this is how you'll do your individual category pages. So it's super simple, easy to add them. Just make sure that you have your collections really um, sorted and organized. And you can easily, again, from your site menu you can drag and drop so if you want jewelry to be on the main level you can drag it out and as you can see it popped up on the main menu here so that's how you add new category pages for your shop